Hey yo, what's up everybody, Holmes here and we're back with some more Demon Souls boss guides. Today we are going to be taking on the Fool's Idol and before you go and fight her, um, you're going to see like before the the staircase up, there's going to be two spiral uh, staircases. Uh, go to the one to the right and you're going to want to deal with, there's an NPC up here and you talk to him and he says he's not going to do anything to you. Which, you know, it's it's kind of true, I guess, but he will do something to the boss, which is help her regen health. So, yeah, none of that BS. We're going to go and take him out. Well, I've already taken him out, actually, by accident. I didn't think it was going to hit him. Because uh, there's two spiral staircases. We're on, we're on the one on the right. The one on the left, you can actually, once you go up there and you collect the loot up there, you can actually see him from across. And I was like, I wonder if we can even snipe this guy, because I never tried. Because I usually just run up here and kill him. Um, but he, he hangs out right here. And I basically just sniped him, and he died in one shot. So I was like, oh shit. But yeah, uh, if you didn't snipe him, then you know you can go up there and you can slash him. Uh, he doesn't do anything to you either, like when you try to kill him. So just make sure you kill him. So the boss fight will be a lot easier to handle. And uh, this is the Fool's Idol. A lot of people seems to like him on Reddit. I was hanging around Reddit and people think she's hot. Uh, not to me. She looks kind of creepy. Yeah. It's like the grudge lady with a spell book and four arms. And hair parted back, I guess. <laughs> or maybe Wednesday from the Adams Family. <laughs> I don't know, man. Doesn't look good to me. I don't think in Demon Souls there's a boss or any NPC that looks that looks pretty. In my opinion, anyways. Some people like the the maiden. So for this boss, she warps around, and you want to get up close and personal with her. Uh, these followers, make sure you uh, take them out if you want. Yeah, because they whack you like that. They don't do like crazy amount of damage, but they do whack you. And she reappeared right in front of me, so that was a mistake on her part. In the PS5 version, there's a trophy for killing just the real one. And I'll, t I'll show you guys how you can spot the real one. So you can, if you don't care, you can just keep whacking at the clones. This one's the real one. And yeah, if you don't care about the trophy, you can just check every one of them. Like, if it's a fake, you hit them. At the bottom HP bar, the overall HP bar will not drop. Okay, uh, if it's the real boss, then it'll drop. And the way to tell, it's you. I base it off of the the soul arrows that it fires. If it fires that the lighter one, the bigger lighter one, that's the real one. You see this one, the one on the right that just that just fired a soul arrow, and it was just a small blue one. That's those are the clones. So you're gonna want to uh, look out for the big blue ones. That's gonna tell you where the real boss is and be careful with the traps on the on the ground I can't really I don't know if there's a tell on where the traps are I guess you might just gotta have to remember it or something but basically it just kind of stuns you a little bit and you cannot break through the chairs and so it's kind of annoying you can break the chairs but you can't roll through what's the point right but at this point, unless you guys are taking on this area early, you should have a weapon that's uh, powerful enough to kill her fast. I, I'm just using a weaker weapon right now because uh, my real we uh, the weapon that I focused on upgrading, uh, it can pretty much kill her before she warps, I think. So yeah, I'm taking on this area second to last. I pretty much cleared out... Uh, well, the first area I only... I still need two more bosses, and the second area I cleared out, and then Shrine of Storms I cleared out. So yeah, and Shrine of Storms is pretty much the area that I need to clear out to get um, all my upgrade stuff. So yeah, and I guess depending on your build, you can get stronger earlier on, and, and also depends on like which area you take on. But yeah, that's how you deal with uh, the Fool's Idol. And I want to show you guys how to grab up all these items. Because there's this one right here. And it's behind that table. If you get close to the table, a cutscene plays. Okay. And if you want to grab the idol. I mean, I don't grab the item. 
you're gonna have to rerun it back. So that's gonna be annoying. But if you just hug the side and you circle around like this, that's how you can get the item without having to trigger the cutscene. And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. And uh, hopefully, I got you guys through this boss. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Ohms out.